Hi, it's Denise with Ladybug Stampin' and today we're going to create a card for the Christmas Stampathon 2020 Facebook group. And I was a part of this group um, for the last two years and we had it a challenge, but this year I decided to take a break because I needed to concentrate on my Stampin' Up, um, just my Stampin' Up business, so I took a break, but I wanted to participate in this month's challenge. So this month, um, it's a color challenge, and they have Petal Pink, Blushing Bride, uh, Mint Macaron, Soft Suede, Poppy Parade, and then a neutral color, like Whisper White or van Very Vanilla. I'll be using Very Vanilla. And we're gonna be using this Flourishing Phrases um, bundle set, or dies and stamp set. This is a great stamp set for beginners because you have some, you have like sympathy, congratulations, thank you, hello, um, comfort and healing, a great little set if you're, you know, only wanting a few stamp sets. And then of course, this great big image here that you can color in with our Stampin' Blend. And then this one, Eva, you can do some fussy cutting and make it a 3D flower, that'd be great. And then we have these great dies that go with it. Now they're very detailed. And you'll see as we, um, when I show you what I used, but I did use almost every one of these except for that one, I think, and some of the leaves, but. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, since this is a Christmas card, there is no Merry Christmas on this set. So I had to pull out a stamp set that's not retiring, because this is retiring, if I didn't mention that. These are retiring as of June 2nd or why supplies last. Um, but this one is not retiring. This one's carrying over into the new catalog that starts June 3rd. And I wanted this Merry Christmas right here, so I got this out. So I am going to be using two stamp sets today, but I just needed this Christmas one. And if you have a Christmas one already, that would work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just get our stamping done. We've got two pieces of very vanilla cardstock here. And we're going to stamp a couple images, one on here and one on here. And the first thing we're gonna stamp is the Merry Christmas. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this Merry Christmas out of here. And we're gonna put it on the D block, because that's what I had. I think this probably would have fit on the smaller block, but that's what I grabbed. Okay, and we're gonna be using Soft Suede Stampin' Up Ink. And I'm just going to take that dust off and ink it up. And then I'm gonna kinda of go right here at the top. I'll make sure my card is level. Right here at the top. Okay. Oh wow, that is really light. I think I need some more ink. Let's go on the other side. Let's use, let's use this one here. Okay. Let it sit there for a minute, let the ink soak up. Okay, definitely a little bit darker. I need to put some more ink in here. Okay, now this one aside, and for this one, I've got my big block out here, and we're gonna use this image right here um, because I will be using some of those out there, some of these images, or die cuts. That kind of matches that a little bit. But we're not gonna stamp over the whole thing. We're just gonna kind of do on the edge like that. Real soft look, doesn't have to be. Um, I, I didn't stamp off because that's already, it needs some ink. So it's already kind of light. So I'm gonna put this to the side and let me know, I have to remind myself to ink that up. Okay, so we have the inside and we have the outside. So we're gonna get out our card base, which is Poppy Parade. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. And then we've got some with, uh, soft suede, which is cut at four and eighths by five and three eighths. And I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back here. And if I didn't say what size the very vanilla was, those are both four by five and a quarter. Okay. And now I'm gonna put this on here. But before we put the very vanilla, we're gonna do something. We're gonna take this very vanilla, and I'm gonna get out this, I love this ribbon. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. This is 
our Poppy Parade, what is this? Oh, Textured Weave Ribbon, and I love this ribbon. I am so sad to see it go. But I think there's some still available, so if you wanna grab some real quick, you can. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna attach it to the back side, and I'm just gonna go up a little bit, about right there. Okay, and I'm gonna take some adhesive and put this on the back. Oh. Make sure it's straight before I attach the other side. And then, you know, sometimes this is hard doing this right-handed when I'm left. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna just take a piece and go underneath. I'm not gonna tie it, I'm not gonna cut it just yet. So I'm trying to be very sparingly with this ribbon. Okay, I'm going to bring it down, carry it over, under, I mean. And I'm going to tie a nice little knot like that. That'll work. And then I'm just going to cut the edge at an angle. So now that is ready. So we're going to go ahead and hear these. I'm going to put a little bit on the ribbon as well so it'll hit, hit, adhere, adhere to the soft suede. Okay, I'm going to put this down. And, okay. Then we're going to go ahead and take this one and we'll go ahead and put this inside so we can be, get that done. Y'all like my stamp uh, adhesive techniques? <laughs> Sometimes I go, am I using more than I should or not enough? All right, put that inside. So inside is done. Okay, now for the fun part. So I did take these dies. Let me pull them out. So these are some fabulous dies. There's so much you can do with these. And I have got two of these leaves in mint macaron. I've got this big piece right here. I'll show you in Blushing Bride. That's okay. Like this. I'll lay them right here. And I've got these two little berry pieces in Soft Suede. I've got Petal Pink and one of these little flowers right here. You can see there's a different color, color tone on that one. And then I have this one, this small one, and that big one. I have one big one and two of the small ones. And these look like poinsettias to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to build up a little flower area right here. So the first thing we're going to take is I'm just going to take some glue and some adhesive. And I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to start laying my stuff on this, this uh, combo, this snail. So I'm just going to start laying down. And if I have to add more, I will. So we're going to take this one and maybe go out this way a little bit. Okay. See, so again, we just have to put some right there. You can even trim this piece right here. I'm just going to trim that. Okay. And then this piece is a big piece, but I'm going to trim this, okay? I'm going to take it down here and cut it right in about the middle because I don't want that whole big piece. And I'm going to trim this. All right, and then I'm going to put this right here. And then add some more. Just kind of be very careful so you don't go too overboard. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to trim this one just a little bit. And I'm going to put this one going out that way. And we're going to have our little berries here. And I'm going to put this one kind of like this. And then this one, I think, will go up underneath here over to the side a little bit look at that it's all kind of sticking down right there on that adhesive isn't that fabulous and then we can take this 
and we can stick underneath here as well, maybe. Okay. All right, now we're going to have to put a little adhesive, whoops, down for our other pieces. I think that needs some adhesive as well. So we lift this back up. There we go. And then we're going to take these and we're going to build. Now, these ones I'm going to take and um, I am going to use some Tombow on these because I don't, you know, I don't want you to see the snail. So I'm just going to take a little bit of Tombow around the inside edge. And it's okay if it's, you know, you can see it. It's going to dry and you won't be able to see it really behind this big one. And we're going to put something there. So I'm going to just spread that out a little bit. That might have come out a little heavy. And we're going to put this one layer. So what you're just doing is you're just layering these flowers. Pick him up a little bit. And on this one, we're actually going to use a glue dot. So I'm going to get out one of our mini dip glue dots, or dip glue dots, Denise, dimensionals. <laughs> dimensionals. And before I take that off, we are going to get out some of our frosted and clear epoxy, uh, what are they called? Droplets. These right here. So you've got, now these are actually carrying over, but you've got clear and you've got more of a frosted look. We're going to use the frosted. I picked this up. I need some more. We'll put one right here on this one, one of the smaller ones. And take this one. And the sun is coming out now, so you may see a difference in color of my video. <laughs> it's been raining here off and on, and the sun's been in and out. But I had to get this done. Today's my filming day, and I'm trying to get it all done. And then I'm going to take this one and lower it just about right there. And we'll take one of these big ones. I need to get some more of these, I think. I think I'm about out. I think there's the only ones I have for these. Okay, that one's not going to come out. These are a little bit bigger. And I'm going to drop that on there. Okay, so that's all for the dies and the stamping, but we can't end there because it's for Christmas, y'all. We're going to use some of our Wink of Stella. So I'm sure I've got plenty on here. So I'm just going to start adding, especially to the uh, Poppy Parade. Did I say red earlier? This is Poppy Parade, not real red. I don't remember if I said that or not, but just in case. Now, if you guys are not a part of this group, it's really fun because what they do is they, every month they put out a challenge and then you get to participate. And by November, you've got a lot of your Christmas cards done or other little items that they do out through the year. I, I don't know if they're doing boxes this year or if it's just cards. I'm going to lift this up because we can't have half a shiny poinsettia. That looks like a poinsettia to me. And I'm just going to add a little bit to the berries. I'm not going to like, I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'm just going to randomly just kind of take my, oh look at there. I just noticed something. There we go. Just kind of like it's frosty. But I did want those red ones to pick up. All right. And there we go, a quick Christmas card. And I have the other one right here, which I created this one earlier, so I was watching, looking at this one. So now I have two Christmas cards ready to go at the end of the year. Okay, guys, well, thanks for stopping by. Now, if you like any of these products that you've seen, of course, they will be listed down below, along with the sizes, the measurements, and everything um, down below. And the, the, a link to that group will also be down below as well if you guys would like to join. Okay. All right. Well, you have a lovely day, rest of the week or weekend. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. It does help my channel out. And I appreciate every one of those. And comment. Please comment below. Um, I've really been trying to keep up with the comments. I've got a new little app. And it tells me when I have a comment. So I'm able to go in and just respond without bringing up YouTube. So 
comment below. I'll answer you. All right. Or leave you some love. <laughs> okay. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.